Okay, we can go into closed session after that. <clears throat> the dictionary defines different as not alike in form or quality. This past year is a prime example of that. Many different events occurred during the year. Weather extremes, financial issues, a cluster of fires, to name a few, dominated the landscape. In a period of only a few weeks, the, the fire department responded to Bevel Brothers Funeral Home, Evans Apartments on Clay Street, and two additional house fires, both of those being on Clay Street. It was a very busy time for our brave firemen. Weather was certainly different. Extreme heat and drought plagued the city. Rainfall for 2011 was in excess of 70 inches. In 2012, we barely had 40 inches. These conditions challenged the maintenance department, the water and sewer department, the fire departments, and, and the other departments. Cooling centers were established for citizens without air conditioning. Extremes of this nature are diff difficult to contend with. On a positive note, because of the low sewer usage due to the drought, we have a surplus in the sewer fund. Each cloud, or in this case, a lack of clouds, has a silver lining. The regional wastewater bills for 2011 were $665,382 compared to $435,020 in 2012. Because of the increasing cost of water treatment, customer rates were increased. We had a moderate rise in rates compared to other cities. We still are below many cities in the state. Our ability to maintain water production has been enhanced. We received a CDBG grant for a generator which has been installed at the water plant and, and one at the intake on the river. In the event of a power outage, water treatment will continue. City Hall and the police station have new roofs. Leroy Emery painted nearly all of the police cars and redid two of the three entry signs. Thank you, Leroy. Uh, he told me he wasn't ever going to anything else. <laughs> um, other notable differences during the year include Fred's new store, King Drug and Home Care moved to their new location and will have an official opening soon. Additional lots were sold in Payton Place, the subdivision out 1543, making that now a total of seven lots that have been sold out there. The code enforcement folks have been busy with demolishing in three dilapidated homes. They didn't demolish them, but they had them demolished. And and were responsible for clearing numerous other properties. And it was nice to see improvements in the city's landscape. Hoover Hill Fire Department is now a branch of the Hartford Volunteer Fire Department, and they have responded to, I don't know, the number of fires in that, in that area. As usual, we saw a number of water breaks taxing city workers and <coughs> inconveniencing customers. Thankfully, all the breaks were repaired. Water was restored in a timely manner. Oktoberfest was a success. The event drew more people and more activities this year, and the fire department's car show was a su success as well. With Ed Whitfield's assistance, we received nearly all of the reimbursement funds due to the city from the 2009 ice storm. We still have $18,000 outstanding, and the battle continues. I am still working digitally diligently to secure those funds. A generous gift in excess of $53,000 was given to the cemetery fund. We are always grateful for such donations. The money will be used for cemetery maintenance and beautification, and we were able to buy a new mower uh, with a portion of this money. Work will soon begin on Safe Routes to School and the T21 sidewalk projects. Walking trail grants will receive for Ellis Park, which will allow us to purchase lighting and benches to, to put around uh, in the Ellis Park, right in that general area. Recycling continues to grow. The market for cardboard dipped early in the year, but has now rebounded, which allows us to relieve the storage issues that we faced. Some of the recycling trailers that are out in the county are having to be picked up weekly. And we are looking at applying for a grant again for more trailers, and uh, we probably will apply for six trailers and another vertical bailer. A KIA loan was received for the detention tanks, and with this money needed uh, and required work will also be done on the million gallon water tank. The work should start in April or May of this year and hopefully be finished by the end of summer. As you can see, the year was different for Hartford. As we enter a new year, we must, we must remain diligent in our efforts to better the city, 
maintain the progress made, and look for more opportunities for improvement. As mentioned in the inaugural speech just this week, the country is changing. Diversity seems to be everywhere. We must change as well. In Galatians 6, verse 9, in the uh, NIV version, it says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a har harvest if we do not give up. So, and I think it was a very different year this past year. Um, they're all different. Every year is different. But, Last year was a little different than the year before. Okay, I guess we have some um, possible litigation. We need a motion to go into closed session.